inter organization transfer transaction so let's go back to oracle fusion cloud and quickly do this transaction all right here i am and i am in the springboard i can either go via the springboard supply chain execution and then go to the inventory management um, or i can simply navigate from the navigator and go on to supply chain execution and then inventory management both ways it will work all right and from the taskbar i'm going to go and first i'm going to check quickly check the item quantities in the seattle 001 organization and uh, let's see how it goes okay i'm going to choose the inventory arc as seattle like this and then hit the search button okay you have got 200 quantity on hand i'm going to drill down further and you see the sub inventory stores on hand is 200 okay i'm going to hit the done button and i'm going to go back there and i'm going to check for atlanta and if you recall in the last movie i have uh, assigned this item to atlanta as well but what has happened in the due course uh, the instance got refreshed so i guess we've got to go back and uh, reassign the item to atlanta because it's not coming up now so i'm going to cancel and come out of this particular form and then i'm going to go into uh, product information management see here and then i'm going to go into product information management from here i'm going to query the item definition from the taskbar simply go into manage items and then i'm going to search the item like this okay and as you could see this is the master organization i'm going to open this item definition here and then uh, i'm going to go here uh, to associations and under associations you will have two organizations presently which is operations and seattle i'm going to add one more organization by clicking on this button select and add and I'm going to look for Atlanta this one hit the apply button and then hit done Okay so now Atlanta is also added in the organization list I'm going to save this and close the form Okay, it's taking a while. Okay, that's done. Now I'm going to hit the done button, and I'm going to go back to supply chain execution, and then inventory management here. And then I'm going to go back to manage item quantities and re-query the item in double zero two Atlanta inventory org. And this time, I hopefully will should get. zero quantities because this item is now been added so there should not be any quantities at all but just that it's not popping up the uh, search item because this item is already there so no item availability so i'm going to hit the done button and now i'm going to go here uh, back to taskbar and then look for create inter organization transfer transaction you can read the whole thing like this by scrolling so i'm going to click this function I'm going to choose the inventory organization as Seattle 001 and hit the okay button. Okay and then destination organization is Atlanta which is 
So choose that one and then choose the type of uh, transaction in transit shipment and you can generate the shipment number by something like a unique number system generated number or you can optionally give your own then you can provide optionally this information source and way bill number say some way bill number like this okay and um, then you come down and uh, you hit a new record to be added and then you choose the item that we have been working on okay give that item number and choose the sub inventory now this is the source sub inventory okay and in this case I think it was lying in uh, completed fine and then you choose the destination sub inventory so let's say destination is stores and you choose the quantity let's say quantity of 5 and any reason if you wish okay so looks like I don't know where is it lying was it lying in stores let's see this time if it accepts okay so it was lying in stores and then you see I'm gonna say some reason as say stock request and once you're done then you hit the submit button so as soon as this is submitted hopefully this will complete the interorganization transfer transaction the next steps are pretty much same as what we have done previously with sub inventory transfer or material transaction uh, miscellaneous issue or miscellaneous receipt that you have to first transfer the details of the transaction from inventory to costing and then cost the transaction by running the cost distribution generation program and then you have to run the transfer to GL program by running the create accounting program wherein you have got an option to run the GL import and then post it on to the general accounting as well.